Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. I don't think from my point of view, I don't think I would say the democratic space is shrinking. I think what is there is that there is too much poli uh, there is too much politics there is too much politics there is too much politics and yes the police are quick to pick on uh, some of the people that are that that are that have got divergent views but really to say because when you talk about democratic space shrinking it is a situation where people cannot be able to talk it is a situation whereby people cannot freely move. It is a situation where people cannot freely, you know, own property. It is a democratic space where people cannot freely, you know, uh, interact with others. But much as there are some restrictions, there are some restrictions. Of course, it is not, uh, it is not, everything is not straight. That's for sure. And frankly speaking, I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll be a liar if I say, no, everything is smooth. Especially that myself, I've been arrested quite a number of times. Quite a number of times I've been arrested. But still, it doesn't mean that they are saying completely stop talking. No, I don't think that is the situation here. I don't think we can, we can say in Zambia we can't express ourselves. No, I don't think that is true. Right now, I am, I, am, I, am, I am talking and you are commenting there. And you comment a lot of comments. And a lot of you, a lot of you, you very people who are saying, no, hey, democracy, democracy, democracy is shrinking. You are, you are number one to comment. You are number one to comment. But when somebody reacts to your comment, or in this instance, when the police pounce on you, because of what you have said, that no, the democratic space is shrinking. But Zambians, we talk. Listen in the morning, radio stations. There are radio stations that, oh, that open phone calls. There are phone calls everywhere. People are talking, people are talking. I don't think, uh, surely, uh, I mean, I don't want to... I don't want to, I don't want to, to be pessimistic. I don't want to be pessimistic. I think... We have democracy in Zambia. I mean, I've moved around and I've felt the temperature of other countries where it is difficult for people to express themselves. Here, people express themselves. The only thing is that we, we stretch that democracy. That's the only thing. We stretch that democracy. Sometimes some of the comments that we make, especially some of these people that have been, uh, 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 that have been arrested, Eh, like, for example, this cat at Why Me. Eh? Why Me? Have you seen that Kawai Me, what he talks about, really? That Kawai Me insults. That Kawai Me insults big time. I mean, honestly, how can we let a person like that to continue talking? Eh? Insulting people like that. that? No, that is freedom of expression. Ah, no, it's not right. It's not right. Come on, let's just be real. Eh? Also, even ourselves in the, in the politics, the way we... We do politics. Sometimes some of the things that we say, eh? and I, I even spoke about it. That's a, I don't know what you, you Zambians are made of. You Zambians insult, eh, eh, enjoy insults. You know? Enjoy insults. Some of these people that you celebrate and whatever, whatever, what they say really doesn't even make sense. They just insult. Every day insulting. Every day insulting. We don't need to insult Yaka Inde Ichirema to, to offer checks and balances. We don't need to offer checks and balances. We don't need to insult to offer checks and balances. We don't need that. But let's face it. There are some people that come to social media to insult. 
There are some people that come to social media to insult. And some of you, you actually celebrate them. As long as the only problem that you have, actually, the big problem is that when you, when you are insulting Uyo, eh, at Wanga Wanga Uyo, I live at idiot. I mean, there we are. Uh, there we are. So, we have our freedoms in Zambia. We have our freedoms in Zambia. The only thing is that we, we are tending to stretch it, to stretch those, uh, those freedoms. We are stretching them. I know I've been arrested nine times. But you see, there are certain, there are certain things that uh, when you say, uh, you know, and government is apprehensive. Me, I don't insult. But I've been arrested and I know why they arrest me. Some of these issues, it's just that, you know, they are scared that mm, if this guy talks about this, eh, we are going to be in problems. Then they pick you. But much as I've been arrested nine times, I don't want to say that, you know, the democratic space is shrinking. Awe, we talk. Now, but when they're under, who land up under, they take land, they need freedom. Eh, need freedom. Eh, now, when we're in Gavalanda, to the former Muma court, eh, Muma court, they had that yesterday, they had that number of dollars we can buy. We left mafia court, why me? Now, I'm booked to Okulanda. Eh. He talks. Eh, I, I think we are able to express ourselves. Let us not uh, alarm the situation. I think from my point of view, I would say, let us not alarm the situation. Let us not alarm the situation. We have, it is not perfect. We have instances, incidences, but let us not alarm the situation whereby we start looking at it to say, no, the democracy, democratic space is shrinking. Ah, me, I do agree. We have issues, but to say the democratic space is shrinking, ah, ah. It, 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 from, it, from my point of view, really, from my point of view, on social media, Tulalanda, bad. Na TikTok, even if so, right now, if I open TikTok, eh, if I open TikTok, you will see. Zambians got TikTok, Nganyae nama live ya, isa ama live chat. Eh? It's like kwa tia ishirafia ifwe, Muzambia. Ama live chat, ni mbwe. Hmm? Ni mbwe ama live chat. Grace. 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 Eh? Ama live chat, yengi. Ama Zambians. Eh? There is so much. Hmm? Mesterance considers it. Pronunciation. Mm. Pronunciation. Eh? You know your son's this is the There is so much we that we I think no, I think I think really um on that score, yes, there are situations that we need to talk about, that's for sure. Radio stations. Ama radio stations yengi Muzambia and Yavantu Valalanda, you know. So we have had isolated instances here and there, but I don't think it is a situation where we can say the democratic space is shrinking. There is another point that uh, uh, the bishops spoke about uh, in that regard. Uh, they spoke about the media. Then they spoke about um, they spoke about the public order, the public order act. The public order act. I'll say this on the public order act. I'll say what I used to say during the time of PF. During the time of PF, I used to say, me, I don't have a, I don't have an issue with the Public Order Act. I have never had issues with Public Order Act. I have never. And of course, somebody will say, yes, you have never had a, an issue with Public Order Act because, I mean, you don't have members. You don't conduct rallies. Eh? That's what somebody would say. I know. Somebody will say, yes, you have never had, you don't have problems with Public Order Act because you don't uh, have members, because you don't conduct rallies. That's why you don't have a problem with the Public Order Act. But it is not true. It is not true. You can talk about here in Zambia. You can say whatever you want about uh, EEP, Economic and Equity Party. But... Uh, I, as Shrifatayali, President of Economic, Economic and Equity Party, I am more effective 
than most of these leaders who you perceive to have even members. I am more effective. More effective. I've done demonstrations, haven't I? Haven't you seen me demonstrate? I have demonstrated. And I've demonstrated not only once. Uh -uh. I've demonstrated, I think, during my, U, my, my, my PF, I demonstrated. I have not done a demonstration during my, 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 my UPND. But I follow the law. I apply strategy. How is it that the police, they were giving me permits during the time of the PF? When I was actually demonstrating against, against them, how is it? It is because, you know, you have to be clever. You have to, to be strategic. Even when you are asking for that permit, be strategic. Be strategic. I do hold press conferences a number of times. I do have gatherings a number of times. I did, you remember, Kuma Drivers School. Eh? Kuma Drivers, eh? I did demonstrate. We demonstrated. Nimfulaneshat, you remember that? Eh? We did a, a, a kind of demo when that driver died. Eh? Kuku Mozambique. I think that was during the, 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 the UPND. Yes, it was during the UPND. Yeah, yeah, I've demonstrated twice. During the UPND. I've demonstrated twice during the UPND. When that driver died, and then, of course, when they were not paying those drivers. We demonstrated. The pictures are there. You will see me without a shirt. Ninja pentanoku ipend. It is a strategy that you engage. But if you are going to be, if you are going to carelessly, 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 you know, engage into in, into some kind of gathering and whatever i mean no government is going to allow you no government is going to allow you we will talk and talk and talk about the public order act but i can assure you no government will come and ignore the public order act like the way the lawyers speak about the public order act where they say no you simply have to go and inform the police Tate and no government will allow that. No government will allow that. I used to say this during the time of a PF. And my UPND used to get upset to say, I am, I am, I am siding with my PF. Even today, my UPND, my power, even them, there is no way they are going to govern this country by saying, no, just if I want to, to, to have a rally tomorrow, I simply have to go and inform the police. No, it doesn't happen like that. It can't. You are going to inconvenience other people. Because if you are going to say no, it is simply informing the police. Eh? Then you can go ahead. And I disturb the, the people on the streets. Eh? Because I can say no, I'm going, we, we want to do a demonstration. We will do it at 8 o'clock in Cairo Road. Eh? In Cairo Road, we will do a demonstration in Cairo Road at 8, at 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock, that is when there are a lot of cars. That is when there are a lot of cars. And surely you think the police will just say, no, it's okay, you can go ahead since you have informed us. And we go and inconvenience innocent citizens on Cairo Road. And then, especially when you are doing politics, politics is divisive. Politi politics sometimes is provocative. You are doing that demonstration. The other party will see you. They will clobber you. By the end of the day, I mean, you have a riot in town. So let us just be realistic with this Public Order Act. Let us just be realistic. Let us be reasonable. Let us be reasonable with this Public Order Act. We should be reasonable. By you, PND, now you are in power. You have seen it. Because when you are in opposition, you were busy criticizing the PF. And some of us, when we are talking to say, the Public Order Act, unfortunately, is a necessary evil to keep order. Is a necessary evil to keep order. And by, by UPND, you were insulting me, you were calling me names, you were telling me what, what. Now you are in power, you have seen it. And I still maintain. And as far as I'm concerned, I don't think I can make an issue of the Public Order Act from this government. I don't think I can make, a, I, I don't, I can make an issue. Because some of these rallies that, that the police have refused to, to grant, you can clearly tell that, hmm, Apa, 
I don't know what will happen. Eh? Like that, that rally which they asked Kumatero. Even your PF body is not which but they cannot they cannot be allowed. Even having our PF body is even your PF if they were in power, they knew that they were not going to be allowed. Especially at this point in time, during this time. I mean, which poli which intelligent politician would ask for a rally around this time? Ubungana, Unina, Ifintuna, Finina. There is a lot of frustration. Hello, you say, no, I want to go and have a rally. Come on. Who is going to allow you? Who is going to allow you? I mean, some of these things, Kutontonka nyafie. Kutontonka nyafie wuna win. Eh? Kutontonka nyafie win. This is DJ Mutati exclusive. All right, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.